most people's approach to work for the rest of their life can be established by their first job and the interactions and experiences that they have with their very first manager or supervisor on the job. What I know is that when I transitioned out of my business, as just a humble quick example, is that I was very fortunate that God put me in the position of talking to one supervisor or assistant manager over another in a possibility of the hiring process. And that established forevermore my feeling about the company and why I wanted to work there in that retail shop while my father was transitioning. That's all I'll say about that. What we do need to talk about besides the unique usage of technology that is personal to us in a store is the law regarding the use and abuse and misuse of Wi-Fi that is pretty much expected as a American standard across every company that is in the public sector in terms of their Wi-Fi availability. Most Americans today pretty much expect that if they go to a fast food restaurant or a actual casual restaurant that the company offers some sort of Wi-Fi, especially fast food restaurants, especially coffee shops. At the same time, we know that there are companies that are trying to be with it and together with the rest of society so that their retail environments, such as Walmart, Meyer, etc., Staples, Office Max, where it's really about doing business, especially those business shop oriented shops that are office supply stores, are expected to also have Wi Fi. Not only for the checking of products online and where to find them possibly in the store if they have them in a store while a person is in the store and reminded, of, oh, I need one of these too. But it is also the reality of the Wi-Fi network that you do not have the right to tell someone what they may and may not do on your Wi-Fi network. And today, as opposed to yesterday, as opposed to the previous administration in America, that is absolutely true. One of the hot buttons of our American president and vice president, somewhat thanks to me, I think, is that, as a person who was sort of a supporter of that ideology, is that all American citizens need access to fast Wi-Fi and freedom of its use. Most Americans, most retail employees are very aware that you do not have the right to use technology to abuse, we'll use that gently, because there can be misinterpretations of that under the law, but to misuse technology in a public family oriented store if you get my meaning you're not going to allow someone to sit as an employee or sit as a guest on your Wi-Fi network watching porn we do however have no more rights beyond that it is pretty true your employee is not your technology officer most likely your technology officer is not in the local store you may have someone who knows how to turn the and the network off and on, but it does not allow that employee or supervisor to do that because they want to be a discriminator of who and who cannot use that. We also know that there are people in America who think that something is an abuser of their company technology when it isn't actually at all. And you do not have the right to use your technology as an employee, even if you've got technological skills and were hired for that, as a way to monitor guests in the store to determine what they are and are not doing on your Wi-Fi network. A corporation, if it has extra free time and lots of uh, unneeded time for their employees, might do that. But generally speaking, the alerts that goes off to a technology department at a corporation is when there's sort of an overuse, not at all, but when there's an abuse that is considered immoral in terms of propriety within a store. Beyond that, people have the right to do whatever the hell they want to in terms of social media, responses, company email, sending, taking of telephone calls, etc. in a store on their own phone. And local shops don't really have the right to say, you don't have the right to take advantage of what we're offering you for free. So with me, I'm going to say that very clearly, that your employees can get themselves into serious litigation problem from your company as well as from the federal government if they're considering and if they're looking like 
they're discriminating on your Wi-Fi networks, and they're illegally and immorally hacking, monitoring, or interacting with someone's cell phone, either on behalf of your company or on behalf of themselves, which is usually where the problems begin. That you've got a techno geek who's bored, not doing his job according to the job description, who is using his cell phone on the job or a computer on the job to waste company human capital payments and time going on and off their network, paying attention to what people are doing for their work, their job, their life, their income, their revenue on your network. 